Welcome back to the seemingly never-ending NASCAR Heat 4 career mode WB Network. We're starting 30th here at Charlotte to not mess up our qualifying lap. Uh, and someone failed inspection, so actually we're going to be 29th. And I see Dylan Lupton's mad at you. Uh, we know about that already, so maybe he'll try to hit us in this race. He's the one with the whole put ants in my potato salad thing, so... Last race was pretty uneventful. We ran decent at Dover and didn't really get into any trouble with anyone, so... And we do have four times on for the pit stops, so I think we will have to pit before the race is over. Depending on how cautious fall. So just two laps here in stage one. The pitting might not actually be a necessity, so we shall see. No enemies around here, Mason Massey, Parker Flitterman. What scares me is Lupton, especially since now this is the first time we've got a little alert about someone being mad at me. I think Kligerman's not going to be too happy about that move. We have speed. Don't want to wreck the car, because I know we do have some pretty good speed here, if we can get some room to race. And we're just driving into everybody, so this is probably not going to turn out too well for us. But we are going to gain almost 10 spots in two laps. Yes, we will. We are 21st, and on 105 difficulty, we are doing very well to start this race. We will be 21st after Stage 1. Harrison Burton takes Stage 1, hoping to move up a little on the point standings. We're driving away from Travis Quapple. Lupton is in the top 10, so we're not going to run into him or Creed for a while. Stage 2, it's a little darker outside. Ooh, mystical. Alright, this stage is three laps. Let's see. My goal is maybe to get stage points here. Let's try and see if we can do something. We had a little contact with the apron, but we still got room under Ankrum. We'll make it three wide here. We're making aggressive moves. People are not going to be happy with us after the race. Hey, there's the African squirrel. Let's go say hi to him. There he is. There he is. Hi, African squirrel. I just went down pit road. That wouldn't have been good. There's Ben Rose. There's Creed. Creed is my number two rival behind Bill and Lupton. Oh, and he, he came down a little. I can sense that someone's a little upset. An aggressive move under Josh Ryun. So we've made it up through half the field. Qualified 30th because I hit the wall in my qualifying lap. I ran on pre-built 8. I've switched to 9 for the race, and right now it's working out. Trying to get around Natalie Decker. Oh, and Creed, no! I want to get away from this man. Eckes doesn't really like me too much either. And whoa. All right, we're going to be 15th here after stage two. So people are pitting. We're just going to, let's see. We're going to gamble. We're going to gamble. I don't know if this is really a gamble, and it's not because everybody else took two tires. I think Todd Gillen might have taken four. Sheldon Creed, I think, took four. All right, so we're 15th. Got 10 to go. Hopefully we don't have any issues with the left front tire going forwards. But, uh, okay, 10 laps to go. Let's see what we can do. This is the best we've run in a race since Atlanta, which was our best run. We've had a couple clunkers in a row, so trying to make, make good with this opportunity to run well in the North Carolina Education Lottery. 
All right, squeeze deck us a little. And we just lost 7% on that left front tire this lap, which was a little concerning. And there we go. And we wrecked and we're gonna have to pit. Shoot. Okay. Well, all right, now we're in the back. So all that track position is gone, so now we're gonna have to work our way through the field again, which stinks. But we do have fresher tires than everybody now in the entire race. And we still got six laps. Friesen is your leader. He took stage two. Harrison Burton took stage one. Let's get around uh, 46, hopefully, in turn one. And he is going to take the high lane. Oh, man. That is frustrating. Got tied up there. But I don't know if my left front would have made it anyway. So in the end, that might not have been the worst thing to happen. Because now we are a lot faster than a lot of these people. No holding back right now. Clafton just took the lead from Stuart Friesen. He is side by side with him. And without Dylan Lupton in third, I do not want Dylan Lupton winning a race. Um, Natalie Decker is falling like a rock. Big, big contact with Dipple. Friesen back to the lead. There's Sheldon Creed. Oh, Creed, I see. Creed, I see. Oh, so can we Creed. All right, so we're up to 20th. Gonna pull out and get 19 from Christian Eckes here. Friesen is the leader now with three laps to go. And we are all over the place because I am getting aggressive. Uh oh, got him to the back of Jordan Anderson a little. A lot more than a little. We just went from 100 to 94 percent. Oh no! Gus Dean, get off me! You know what, Gus? Yay. I'm going to spin around a little. Okay. <laughs> I was just banging off people there. Okay. We're going to go to overtime. I was out of control and I was trying to take out Gustine. And I ended up wrecking somebody else in the process. But we get another restart here. Let's try to get a top 20 at least. Absolutely would like to beat Sheldon Creed. I feel like it's just break check to me. Oh, come on. Oh, he's bumping into me. We're going to end up 21st, I believe. And we're going to get 22nd as I crash with Dipple. And that race just absolutely fell apart. I thought I had a top 10 possibly, but it did not work out. And Quapel does finish his way in the back. Moffat did not finish the race. And Stuart Friesen wins.
someone's gonna buy a hat, right? Yep, ten dollars in merch. And we are up to twentieth in points. Which is frustrating. And now let's see, because I think there's gonna be some heated drivers after this race. Oh man. Well, you know what? It was a good run while well, it lasted, but the race just fell apart for us as it went on. And we started acting a little crazy. And probably not the best decision to do that. But why can't we be friends? Uh oh. Oh, I made a friend. And I got 16 fans. Alright, here we go. Alright, I complete the incentive. Here we go. Keep that up. Your truck's gonna be in the junkyard just like this one. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna be a rival? Because that's how you make rivals driving like that. Okay, that's weird, but I'll compliment him. Bipolar much, Clay Greenfield? You were just roasting me, and now... What the? Uh-oh. That was some pretty awful driving last race. Okay, I'll apologize. Okay, I don't like... I don't like him. Okay, Dipple's arrival. I'll apologize. Okay, so Clay Greenfield is bipolar. We screwed up. Sheldon Creed and Tyler Dipple hate us. And our next race will be uh, Texas. And let's go with the three top 25s as our next one. All right, so thank you for tuning in for this career mode episode. This is WB Network. We'll see you next time.